Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jerick and welcome back. Today we're playing Overlord Raising Hell. Now this game came out some years ago now, but it still looks quite good. And to be honest I've got a bit of a soft spot in my heart for it. I really like this game. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a bit of an odd game if you compare it to most. But we'll jump in and you can see for yourselves. Now, I had to... I did have this a long time ago and I completed it. But I got it recently on the Humble Bumble on Steam. Humble, bun Humble Bundle on Steam even. Shut up you little... There you go. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I've restarted it. I've got through the Most tutorial. You don't want to watch the tutorial. Shut up, you little... What's it? Of light force. Go away. There you go. Right. Now, the basic premises of, of this game is that you are an evil overlord. This is your tower. Bully of oh, would you go away? <laughs> Let's go down here. Might have some peace and quiet. You're an evil overlord who's been uh, attacked by the good guys. Welcome to the spawning pit, master. And oh, this is actually a good place to show you. Uh, you've been attacked by the, the good guys, and you're, you're drained of power, and of your tower's you've, power, you've got to rebuild your. Information on your oh, shut up. Touch it and see. You've got to rebuild your your evil empire once more. And uh, one of the big things about it is these. I can't remember how do I look on. There we go. It's your minions. These little dudes follow you around and do whatever you say. Right, run over there and stand against the wall. But there you go. You can get all sorts of different minions. You can get red ones, which are obviously fire minions. And can go through fire and stuff. Uh, you get blue ones. They're the water ones. Uh, these grey ones that I've got now, these are the basic sort of attacking soldier minions. You can see they've all got different things, and that's because one of the great things about this game is they still... Ooh. Oh, I'm guessing that's their nest. Yeah. In fact, it's quite difficult to get them to stop. Yeah, they Such nick all the stuff off the people the fight, they, they the attack. You can see some of them have got little helmets on and stuff. So they have a little bit of character in their own. And the green ones, green minions, uh, I think they go through poison. Not sure. I think they poison. Not a clue. Not a clue, to be honest. Can't remember. Now, let's go back and actually play the game, shall we? Get into a fight. Come on. Yeah, it's got a lot of charm and character this game. As you can, Welcome. As you can probably tell already. Meadow Hills. It's a fantastic little Testing, testing. I don't know what you call it. Is, is it's like Pikmin. It's like the because uh, I think it came out on Xbox and all that as well. So uh, it's kind of like Pikmin with an evil twist. There you go. And they do, you know, you can increase how many minions you have. So I've got ten maximum at the moment. But you increase them, increase them, and you get. Could be two halflings holding up some armor. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's it. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure who this is actually made by. Mm, I've got to look it up right. before I started Here, this video. <laughs> you ain't but it's got the sort of like the fable the sort of uh, vibe to it. No, I don't think it is lying right there, so I can get my aim straight. Now that Lord's there in the field, greedy little halflings, yeah. use your firebolt spell on the wheat and roast them like suckling. Oh, I forgot how to, how to bloody hell do you use... Uh, oh, cast a spell E. Oh, that's easy now. Um. Oh! Yeah, you get spell, you can obviously hit things yourself. 
but the uh, main fun is the little dudes. Oh god. I guess I'm supposed to... Oh no, oh no, no, got all. I keep getting about, I keep clicking because I want to hit something, but clicking's not hit. Clicking is send your little dudes off. Hitting his face. Killing innocents, and I use the term loosely, increases your corruption level. <laughs> there you go, so you get... This attracts more evil energy, which increases your powers. However, this is really suitable for establishing a long-term evil plan. That requires people, living people. Gratitude comes with its own rewards. So I've got a choice to kill these guys, or... We'll leave them there. No. Oh. Okay, can't kill them. Attack him, attack him. Turn that down. Oh, bloody hell, that was a bit bad. Oh shit. Oh shit. I may have just set a light, everybody. Oh dear. I've just killed all my little dudes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pause. I'm gonna have to jump cut and get some more. Right, we're back and we've got more dudes. Admittedly, that's one of the bad things about this game. That uh, a lot of the bosses as well have some powerful attacks that just wipe out all your minions at once. This must be the so, camp, those if you were, <laughs> be careful. If you um, have no way to get any more, or you're not close to anything, you could do any more. This is an arcane blood pit, sire. You then uh, you just end up. Here to regain your own health. Oh great! I, oh, I knew this was. This is a place to get more. And I know. Oh no! Don't go back in it. Come back out. Come out! Come out! Come out! Oh, what's happened to all my dudes? Why can't I get them out of there? I've only got five. Why have I only got five? Yeah, a lot of the bosses sort of over a mana pit. Oh, I haven't seen overkill one of your um, minions. They allow bit. you to sacrifice your minions and replenish your mana. I don't actually know where I'm going right now. Ah, oh, this is back to the beginning. Oh, I need one more. The killing innocent things gives you life force, which you can use to summon your minions. I think there's different kind of life force from what I can remember. This is a typical thing of this game over there is that's one of your upgrade totem things that makes you have more minions, allows you to have more minions. And uh, obviously I'm going to need some blue minions to uh, go through the water to get that. So that's the, that's the sort of thing, you know, I'll have to come back to this level, explore it a bit, find a way to get that with the blue minions when I've got them. A bit of a puzzle game, kind of. Right, let's go back to where I was. Going around in bloody circles. Actually, you can probably get it down there if I had the blue minions. Right. I'm guessing I'm supposed to go this way. And attack all these bastards. No. Yeah, for some reason, space bars. If I want to hit something, I've got to press space bar. You can probably hear me tapping away, here, which is a bit uh, awkward. Sort of 
click usually to hit things, but I think you're supposed to rely on your minion. You get all sorts of upgrades as well. Upgrade your armor, upgrade your weapons. There is a, a, an Overlord too, but um, I've never, I've never completed that. I've got it, I've not played it much. I kind of like the original. <laughs> I love the fact they put so much charm in this game. I mean, they could have had those guys just attacking sheep, but um, they put the anima they bothered to put the animations of them jumping on the backs of the sheep and stuff like that. That's a lovely bit of uh, charm into it. Look, sire, a oh. wheel. Your minions can turn these, and well. You never know what might happen. There you go. If you don't have enough minions, you have to find an upgrade thing. That sort of thing to solve puzzles. Oh, new area. Oh, oh no, it's a transport back. There we go, that's the minion. No, I can't remember where I'm going. Collision detection on this ain't great. Where are they going? Oh, he's found a little. He's found some, but he's in. You can also sweep them, which is. Uh, it helps a lot when you come into more complicated bits of trying to get your minions to wear. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You should know that the camp up ahead is defended by rock throwers. Oh no, not rock throwers. What the overlord? Come on. Yeah. Not rock throwers. God. Yeah. This is very start of the game. You get some really badass creatures at the end of it. But this is just stupid little guys throwing rocks. Come on, smash all the boxes. Yeah, smash them all. Do you notice they're all getting weapons and stuff, all tuning and everything? They become more powerful, but if they die, they lose all that. And you're back to just getting a basic minion. Why are you all running off that way? Are you? Come on. Come on. For you. Right. I'm guessing there's this wheel down here. Is this what I'm doing? Help us out! I'm not sure I should help you out. There are more prisoners over there, but they've got a big old troll guard in them. Ooh. Oh, I think this is a little boss battle. Let's do this. I think this is sort of like where the demo ended. Fear and awe can be valuable commodities, sire. I can't remember. There are more prisoners over there, but they've got a big old troll guard in Yeah, right, you said that, you said that. So he's just a basic little one, they all got maces and stuff and Oh, here we go. Oh, God. That's a fat thing in it. Oh lovely. Oh, I think I think that no, come back, come back, come back. That troll ate my brother. I think the thing is you're supposed to get him on its back. 
I'm not fuck around there. I'm supposed to get him on his back. Get him to run back while it jumps up in the air. No, 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 get away from it, get away from it. Oh, oh, it's dead. Oh, that's bloody easy. This is going to be hard now. I'll get the life force. Boxes. Special boxes. Oh, there's one of them waiting over there to turn that wheel. We're doing it very, very slowly. <laughs> Am I supposed to open all the cages? Do I miss something? It doesn't feel very overlordy to let prisoners go. I don't know. What's down here? Our liberator. Hey, we don't need this crane anymore. Ooh, a crane. Well, it is ours. We just go on, take the crane. Quickly, sire. Have your minions bring it to the waypoint gate. Ooh, oh, there is a thing up there. What's this do? Oh, that does open to free all the prisoners. Go back to the tower. You see, you collect things throughout the game and they, they rebuild your tower. I think in the second one you get a girlfriend or a queen. You get to choose. Oh crap. Oh dear. Not sure they should be doing that. Now we have the crane, we can start to rebuild your tower, sire. There's a way to upgrade your armor and stuff. I can't. That grain is just the job. Get a forge. Minions are opening up the dungeon. Do go see it. It's so soothing. You can fight almost anything you like down there, providing you've already defeated it once. You can see behind here. There's like little totem bits. There you upgrade things. Yeah, I quite. I really like this game. It's uh, Harvester of Life it's something force. a lot different from what you usually get. Um, stupid little. Watchful God. There we go. I'm sure if they made this game these days, uh, they'd be full of microtransactions and get Always more minions if you pay a hundred pounds. Don't you think Thanks, you stupid like that. You know, doing your job. There you go. Yeah, it wasn't a humble bumble, hum, humble bundle last week. So uh, if you're lucky enough to pick it up, then Restorer if not, the I'm sure it's on Steam somewhere. It's a fantastic game, quite old these days. And as I say, there's even a sequel. It might be better, might be worse. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Savior of the Tower Hearts. Right. right, that was Overlord raising hell. I'll see you uh, next time. Bye.